If you see this error or any other errors when using the Downloader app, I'll show you how to fix it in this quick video. Let's go and check it out. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. If you're using a VPN when accessing Downloader, try turning your VPN off. It could be blocking the connection request to the site you're trying to download from. If Downloader works with your VPN turned off, you can add Downloader to your VPN split tunneling settings. This will make sure that you can use Downloader with your VPN turned on and fix any errors. If that doesn't work, try resetting the Downloader app. This will involve resetting Downloader to its default settings. So if you've got anything saved in your favorites, unfortunately, they will be erased. Go to your Fire Stick settings, select Applications, Manage installed applications, then find and select Downloader from the list. Tap down the menu, select Clear Data, then select Clear Data again to confirm. Now tap back up this menu and choose Launch Application. Make sure that you select Allow when you see this message pop up, as this will allow Downloader to save downloaded files to your device. If you previously selected Deny, then this could be why you needed help. Now try using Downloader again to see if this has fixed your issue. If that didn't work, you may need to get the latest update or version of Downloader from your App Store. So uninstall it and reinstall it. Open your Fire Stick settings and go to Applications, Manage Installed Applications, then find Downloader in the list. Tap over it, then press the play pause button on your remote to uninstall the app. Then go back to your Fire Stick home screen, search the App Store for Downloader and install it. When that's done, remember when you open the app to click Allow when you see this message, or you will still get errors when using Downloader to download apps. Also remember that you will need to go back into your settings and your developer options to give permission for Downloader to install apps. So go back into your Fire Stick settings and go to My Fire TV, Developer Options, Install unknown apps. Then find and select Downloader from the list to turn the permission on. If you have a newer Fire Stick or Fire TV where the developer options menu is hidden, when you get to the My Fire TV settings, select About. Next, tap on the Select button on your remote seven times or until you see a message at the bottom of the screen that says, no need, you are already a developer. Once that message appears, press the back button on your remote once, and you'll now be able to see and access the developer options menu and turn on Downloader to install unknown apps. If none of those tips has helped, then there could be an issue with the server or website you're trying to connect to when using Downloader. Maybe it's overloaded by too many requests or the link no longer works. 
wait 10 or 15 minutes and try again. You should find that the temporary bottleneck has been cleared and the error has been resolved. Let me know which tips helped you in the comments down below. A connection error is quite common in the downloader app, so it will be interesting to see what causes and fixes it for most people. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.